Brother Brothers. <laughs> oh, it's a bit. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Oh, what? What? You don't have heat? It's it's gonna snow here tomorrow. Look, I think you can see the, my breath. Watch. Yeah. Oh, you can. <laughs> it, and it, your breath says "foo." Wow, it is. Must be cold. Man, are you gonna be all right? Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. You know what I did? I took some acid, Gene, so I'm not sure how, how this is all going to go. So right. you're going to be cold, and I'm going to be really high. Awesome. Yeah. You seeing anything yet? Any not yet. I'll let you know. Let you know when it kicks in. All right. All right. Oh, whoa. Things are kind of flipping around a little bit, but. What's going on? Nothing. You're, I'm acting, good. you're acting weird. No, I'm good. I'm good. Um, okay. So let's do our plugs. Got a okay, few things. Quick. You plug it, but let's get to the show. It's Dinosaurs Month. Woo! Go to the Berettabrothers.com where you can subscribe and join our mailing list. Yes, you see those flashy things. That's where you do it. Go to GeneBeretta.com where oh, and I have some Gene Beretta news. <laughs> GeneBeretta.com where you can see all about my books and things. Thank you, Amazon.com. They put um, one of my earlier books, Dear Dear, a book of homophones, on their teacher picks list that just came out. So that was cool to see. And uh, uh, what else we got? Thank you, Sherwin Rackle, for sending a beautiful card. Look, he drew your he oh, drew Dr. Dr. Teeth. Teeth and Pepe. Oh, Poopy. Have, nice. we mentioned, uh, have we mentioned, I mean, I'm sure people know, but have we mentioned since they announced that the Muppet Show is going to be on Disney Plus? Did we, was that after our last show? I don't I even think know. so. We haven't talked about it. I think no. it was still a secret. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. That's fun, yeah. right? People are excited about that, I think. Look at all the people. Scott Joy, dear, dear. He loves the book. Barry oh, Lee, thanks, congrats, Gene. Denise Thank Claire. You. Hello, Beretta Brothers. Hello, Denise. Barry Lee and I just exchanged. Look at this. Speaking of Barry Lee, we exchanged some things. Look at that. He's an artist. Look at that cool oh, nice. Christmas card. Very cool. I love his style. Yeah. Very nice. We got Nick Kramer with us. We got Josh Hankemeyer. We got Deborah Forth. We got lots of people. Okay. There's Deborah, Deborah. Deborah is sculpting. She sculpts while she watches our show. She makes these little figurines. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty cool. She posts. She <laughs> this, posts is under, them, yeah. this is an understatement. <laughs> they were was, so crazy, those two. Was it was so segment. bizarre, and but fun. It was cool, though, to see Steve in a gravity-free room. That was fun. I know. And to see Leaf so calm and not irritated in any way. <laughs> <laughs> Driving down the highway. That was hysterical. We talked after. He was like, oh, sorry. But you, it, I'll, I told you what he had to deal with that morning. But yeah. Uh, anyway, Bill, he, here's a he quick was nice enough to do it, and it was fun. It ended up being great. Real quick. Uh, oh, wrong one. Oh. Sorry about that. Where'd, uh, where'd the one go? I was just – oh, here it is. From Aunt Sam's Thompson. Oh. Well, I feel bad. We're making our guests wait. Um, I do. I have uh, – one of my favorite is that when Brian and I got to go – be interviewed with Johnny and Sal on his Christmas show. And uh, he just interviewed Johnny and Sal like they were, you know, real guests. And uh, I think other people were on too for that show. I think Frank and Cheryl maybe were on. I can't remember exactly. But Which Frank and Cheryl? Frank Oz and Cheryl. Oh, okay. Um, I can't remember. But anyway, Brian and I did Johnny and Sal, and it was so stupid. And uh, I remember one moment where he, he used the word, Larry used the word idiom in their conversation somehow. He says something like, it's like, that's your idiom or something. And Johnny goes, he turns to Sal, he goes, uh, I'm sorry, did he, did he just call me an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> and Larry goes, no, 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 idiom, idiom. <laughs> uh, but we just had a lot of that fun back and forth. And then when he was on Muppets Tonight, uh, he was just a nice guy. You know, he's pretty cool. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yes, the answer is yes. He was a lovely man. At least the time that I spent with him, uh, we had mm -hmm. some fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, we're gonna later in later, later in the show. Sorry, I said where where Sal and Johnny met was an ice cream stand in Kresge's 
which is an old department store, and he knew that. I had a feeling he would know what that was, you know, that most right. people would. But he right away was like, sure, I'm in with Kresge. <laughs> Yeah. Pa pawns, I'm watching Pons in the green room and he's having so much fun with his rotating chair. <laughs> yeah, let's bring him while he rotates. Actually, so right. let's we're gonna bring on Pons. You know, we have several characters to talk about today. Roy, of course, and we have Monica, and then we also have Spike. But we're gonna start with Roy. But first let's bring on Pons because Pons also had another role before he became Roy. So let's bring on Mr. Pons Swirly Mar. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, hey. Uh, yeah. Happy dinosaur month. Gosh, you look a Thank little you. different. Have you had a little bit of like little surgery? I was spinning for about a half hour. Oh, so your eyes have it's called gravity. gravity. Rapidly. Yeah, let me unwind. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, Ooh, maybe hey that's you the Hey. Hey, buddy. How are you? Well, uh, pretty good. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for yeah, doing I, this. I, I, yeah, this is great. I'm glad you guys are doing this. Yeah, we um it's just, you know, it's been great just to see everybody and to check in. And I know we occasionally get to play some cards and stuff together or a group, uh, which is awesome. And then you guys have been doing your Tuesday nights, which I've missed a lot of. I apologize, but I tried to I made one kind of. Sort of. It's great. It's a, a group of us that were sort of the main uh, the card players, and we'd have like a cocktail Zoom hour. Yeah. And keep them going pretty regularly. It's, it's fun. Yeah. It's not everyone shows up all the time, but just sort of seeing everyone checking in, it makes up for not being able to socialize in real life. To get together, yeah. yeah. To smoke all that crack and drink a lot when we get together. Yeah, because it builds hour. up over the week. You've got like a pile of stuff. <laughs> It's just like, ah, we've only got an hour. Ah. Yeah. But but you and I, we first met when you were hired to do what for dinosaurs? Oh, to uh, help uh, Brian uh, cast uh, dinosaurs. Yeah, we cast, met at uh, uh, Brian's, suit Brian's wedding. Suit performers, yes. Right. Uh, I, I was there helping Brian with the puppeteer uh, auditions, but, I mean, he's the puppeteer guy. Right. Right. But yes, we met at his wedding, right? Yeah, down in oh, the yeah. Virgin, uh, British Virgin Islands. Tortola. Tortola. You know yeah. what's funny about that, Bill, is that I put all of it on my credit card because I had no money. Really? I was like broke, yeah. Wow, wow. Well, you know, it's it's the world of uh, entertainment. Yeah. I, I'd done a couple of movies and some commercials and things and whatnot, and then Dry Spell. And yeah, then, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I just get a call, and it's like, hey, we're going to do this thing. I'm like, cool. <laughs> it's coming at a good time. <laughs> so you hey, – oh, yeah, hey, Real quick, speaking of movies, before we get back on uh, Muppets, what movie did I just recently see you in? It's an older one where you got murdered. What was – what am I thinking could, of? Could have been a number of them. They shot me a lot or hung me or blew me up. Oh, was it, uh, was oh it, it was the blob. The blob. The blob. Remake. Yeah, that That's was more than murder. Yeah. That was like yeah. being <laughs> blobbed. I got blobbed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that was cool. That was uh, a fun uh, movie because the, when the tentacles came down and to get me, it's like we, we did a shot in reverse. So mm -hmm. you have to like oh. figure your choreography out. Right. right. Because basically they wrap things around me. And the camera was up there. And, yeah. I, you know, and so it was pulled and then you end up looking at it coming at you and like kind of reversing your reaction. Yeah. 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 That's, that's what I remember. Yeah. It's like I was, I was thrown up by Bob in real life but <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> but, but, uh, can you talk a little bit about what the casting was like to how to find the performers Were somebody like already there were a couple right from Ninja Turtles at first, or did they come? How did that work? How did you guys figure out who you were going to, because I know my my casting thing was just out of the blue kind of thing. I you know I just said to Brian, I'd, I'll come sweep floors and stuff, and he said, "Well, maybe you want to try. I don't know if you want to do it, but you know." And then I came and auditioned. But some of the other guys had already done stuff, right? Well, uh, I think what Brian wanted to do is find uh, local people as much as we could because we're shooting in L.A. And um, uh, I worked with Peggy DeBreer who uh, had worked 
not only as a casting person, but also knew a lot of sort of vaudeville and physical performer people. Because yeah. as you well know, and which no one knows until they do it when you're in a suit, there's nothing else like it. And uh, a lot of people are great. Either they're really good actors or they're, they're good physical people or whatever. But being inside one of those suits and making it come alive and surviving the experience over and over and over again is just a really unique thing. So for the um, auditions, you know, we did as good as we could in terms of having some part of the script and have people, uh, you know, physicalize and, but you're also, you, and then you tell people, you're telling actors, it's like, okay, so this is what this job is. It's really hard. You're going to be inside a sauna. It's yeah. going to, it's, you're going to be pulling around like concrete bags of cement. And they're like, no problem. You know, everyone's like, no problem. <laughs> Right. But, yeah. you know, some people once. So anyway, that's uh, we started local and then we tried to thin it down. And Brian had a thing about not necessarily, you know, using people he knew or had worked before because he wanted yeah. the pro whole process to be fair and whatnot. So we went through all of that um, just in the beginning. It was it, it was hard. You know, we see we saw so many people and yeah. just trying to figure I I've always heard the story of Lisa Kudrow auditioned. Is that true? Not that I remember. Someone told us that. Someone mentioned that on the show. Maybe it was for a voice. I keep thinking it was a voice thing. It not must the... have been must have been for a voice. That was a separate casting. Right, right. And then Which so I didn't, I didn't have anything to do with it. So then um when when was it when was it determined that you were gonna do Roy? Was it because you and I were hanging out and we looked like, you know, Ed Norton and Jackie Gleason? <laughs> like well, I was us the two I mean, of us together were yeah, like, you know, Ralph. And, it was always like I was gonna be a character. But right. you know, I knew I didn't want to be Earl because that was like because I was also being the coordinator uh sure. you know, once the show got up. So I thought, well, I'll be a character. And then it was like process of elimination. Well, I don't know that I got a Fran in me, even though I had a little bit of Fran in me you for half the first season. Yeah. And I, I couldn't be Robbie and I couldn't be, you know what I mean? It was like, well, what's the one left? Right. And it's uh, it was perfect for you. It really was. I mean, it was, it was a very strange suit. Mm. Which yeah, we'll you know talk let's, about. Let's, yeah, why don't we? Do why you don't wanna, we yeah, why don't we uh, bring on our other guests and we'll talk yeah. just about Roy. We'll talk, start talking about Roy a little bit. Is that good, James? Let's, yeah. let's Roy up the Go house. Ahead. So we have uh, the designer of Roy and uh, and of many characters on this show as in the the puppet dinosaur world, which we're gonna we're gonna get to on our next show. Um, but uh, let's bring on Pete Brook, designer. Amazing. <laughs> Pete, Pete. Pete, nice so to we'll see you. We'll be doing a reading. He'll be doing a reading for us. <laughs> yeah, get to choose something in the back. And we have uh, Julian, sure. volume one hundred, who had the unusual job of doing these little arms on Roy. But <laughs> so amazing, that little. Arm. Julian, uh, Julian. Julian. Rada, rada, rada. Yay! Hi, people. Hi. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming and doing this. We were just, uh, as you heard, you could hear us talking. We were just ta started talking about the, the design, or at least Roy as what that was like, that character, Pons being getting mm -hmm. inside of this thing, and what, you know, what was the, how, where do we start? Because, because Kirk designed the family, correct? Yeah. And then how did you get the, the uh, job to do the, the Roy character? <laughs> you know, I was thinking about this. I, I can't quite remember exactly why I was given that job, because you're right, Kirk did all the, the, the main family. Right. And, then there was, and then there was Earl's buddy. And right. it was determined that it was going to be a T-Rex. Um, yeah. And um, and I, I honestly can't remember why I did it. But anyway, I got the job to design it, and I did, I did drawings and... Um, and a, excuse me, maquette, you know, small model. Yeah. And then did the final sculpture. But I don't think anybody had really, uh, really factored into the, the thing that this was an incredibly difficult suit as it turned out to be, you know. Right. Um, not least of which, yeah, the, the sure, the little arms, but because of the height that had been determined, yeah. we thought in London, oh, well, 
maybe it could be operated almost big bird style. Right. But then you add on like a, a fully animatronic head and so on and so forth. And I mean, to cut a long story short, that the reality is that once we'd got it to Los Angeles, once we'd built it in London and got it back to Los Angeles, yeah. we basically ended up completely rebuilding it. Because oh. it, yeah, it yeah. was a re it was a beast to 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 have to operate, and it very quickly realised that you know it's it, you're not going to be able to deal with this on a regular basis. You right. Know? Well, um, can I ask you about the design because he's he's the character is a lot like you know Norton from the Honey Yeah. I mean, yeah. Did you think about him in some way designing well, or? That that because he's got that very kind of you know that look about him. It's something yeah. about. I had to do a bit of research because, you know, I grew up in England and so I wasn't that familiar in with the honeymooners. Right. Um, I, I, you know, it, it wasn't part of the, uh, it wasn't part of my, um, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, formative years, should your, we say, you know. Your bookshelf. It wasn't part of your bookshelf. <laughs> 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 there's nothing on the honeymooners oh. contained right. in this collection. All right. Um, <laughs> but but no, you know, no, Kirk no, no, was no. in London, and we talked, and um, and and uh, so I did. You know, we he showed me honeymooners, and I got to. Uh, but basically, it was kind of a, a goofy kind of character. Um, yeah. And initially, the sculpt had a had a more of a kind of a big chin. And I remember Michael Jacob. It was either Michael or Bob. I think it was Michael um, came in to look at the sculptures and. And they were literally like, "Can you can you just get rid of the chin there?" And I think we took a hammer or a big knife or something. Like, there you go. He you talked know, about uh, that on the anniversary. Yeah, thing. yeah, he went and got a shovel or something. That's right. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, yeah, and 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 the character kind of evolved. Um, but like I say, we, we we didn't have a lot of time to build those characters. And my recollection was that it, we got through. We, you know, we shipped everything from London to Los Angeles, and we managed to get through the pilot. But pretty much after the pilot, we we uh, we did a massive overhaul on the characters, because not least of which, ev everybody was in one place finally. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Now, Pons, correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't remember you ever trying out the suit in London when we were making it. I know I was in well, it a few times, but I was I was basically in London, and yeah. Lesha was was building this cage. Yeah around me and it was yeah. kind of obvious to me uh that it's like this isn't gonna work and so i went and yeah. to john stevens i said john this isn't gonna work and he said look we just we gotta get something together that looks like what it is <laughs> and we're gonna send it to la and then we're gonna so you know you'll you'll yeah, be taken yeah. care of but we'll, let's finish the process here but yeah it was and it was i remember as soon as it showed up in la and then julie kind of unpacked it and we looked at yeah. it yeah and uh and then it, i think the complete Rebuild started right there. Yeah, were the, yeah. Was, it, was, was it difficult? Sorry, oh. let me just ask because your arms were not in Roy's arms, correct? Right. So my so arms were here because the head was balanced on the pole. Yeah. Above uh -huh. my head, I was wearing yeah. a backpack with all the stuff on it, and then a pole came up and bent around. So it was yeah, weighted was really nicely, was... and I was I right. saw I would point the head, but the arms themselves. They were was, was balance other, they were other creatures. I don't think they were initially. So then was balance a, a more of a challenge because you didn't have all the other characters could kind of do this and this, you know, but was it N not really because the weight of the head was on my yeah. back. Yeah. And then okay. I could I could really uh also feet were kind of so enormous. This, <laughs> this this part was so, about this part was about eye focus and where you're looking and just right and turning yeah. and yeah body if you're thinking it's it's a puppet it's like you know this part yeah. of the of the head so it would it would really rotate nicely and look around and yeah. And, yeah. and i didn't have to hold anything up all i had to do was just kind of move it and there were bungees that helped it it was a really a sweet design once it kind of got all what well, yeah, well, can you show oh yeah there you go there look how <laughs> yeah. big he is compared to pond Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's another thing. These characters were huge. Yeah, it was, wow. it was big. But, but I was Julie, a lot small. I was a lot smaller then too. Uh, <laughs> Julie, so Julianne, now you had the unique challenge of keeping these simple but really funny hands alive and gesturing and being 
in sync with that. Can you talk about what that was like and how you worked things out with pawns and how you talked with this? Look at him. Look at those hands. <laughs> um, and, Dave, and Dave Greenaway, who did the all the facial animatronic manipulations, right? Yeah. yeah. But how did all you guys communicate, Julianne? How did that work? And what what how did you get what was your challenge? I I just I seem to remember it just being intuitive and just following the guys. But the challenge was that um the arms were a lot of the times like on a little delay i don't know if it was the telemetry or whatever so i would uh, have to anticipate you know if, if he was supposed to do this on a certain line i would have to like kind of do it a little bit before to, to, wow. to, to so that oh was a God. challenge but um and props <laughs> yeah well <laughs> yeah i guess we're those were always ready. just if, if Roy ever had anything, that had to be just wired to his hand, didn't it? I mean, yeah. he could never really, because I never knew where the yeah. arms were. You know, I'm like, did, my head's here and Roy's here. I'm like, ah. I mean, they did have fingers. I mean, they just didn't grasp things too, right, firmly. They, yeah, yeah. A little, they were yeah. a little delicate, like, yeah. But, but one, of the, one of the great things about Roy was, now that, I'm, now that you're saying this, was the timing of those arms is like, he would go, and that's right, Pally boy. <laughs> <laughs> like there was sometimes a beat yep. it just made him even more like so oh, funny yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is perfect with his character too yeah that's what yeah. i mean he was there yeah is. yeah is roy was how, roy was how many cards short of deck oh my God. <laughs> so good so good and then of course you guys uh actually then Pons, Roy, and Julianne, Monica, who we're, we're going to get to. But those two become an item, which is really fun. Adorable, yeah. It's so weird, yeah. so funny. <laughs> yeah, but Pete, really you weird. also, um, you you designed all of them. We're going to, like we said, we're going to have another show. But I just wanted to let people know that you also, oh, did you design Richfield? Who designed Richfield? No, no, no. You know, I don't know. who. I think... I think Kurt might have done a sketch Richard. for Richfield, and a guy called Gary Pollard sculpted him, and, and and basically Gary, you know, nailed it with the sculpt. Right. Kurt may have done a sketch for Richfield. I, yeah, yeah. I can't recall. Yeah. But then you did all the, the other hand, or at least most of, right? All the hand puppet dinosaurs that. Most of them, yeah. yeah. When we got to LA, yeah, most of them, because each week there was little incidental things that they. would that the producers and writers would come up with, yeah. Uh, whether it be a little character that you know, like the Graptolites in a tree or something like you that. You did the Graptolites, um, right? Yeah, and and so those had to be a real quick turnaround, and that that usually fell to me to to turn stuff around quickly. So mo most, not all of them, because we did have a, a lot of people working on the on the yeah. show at the shop, but, but yeah, but most of those hand puppet dinosaurs. <laughs> so would it be like you would? come up with did you sculpt each one or what were, were yeah, they pretty much yeah. you did so you would have to design it sculpt it and then would you and jane kind of talk about things and how are you going to turn that now into a puppet or how did that all work yeah oh um well yeah i mean the, the uh we did talk about it i mean there was this I'm trying to remember i mean we got pretty much in the groove after the first season so right right uh, you know um it, but it was really a, a question of just the time, you know, because th th we'd have a meeting say on Monday morning for the for the next episode or the next oh actually the, the next two episodes. So you know, Monday morning, Jane would come back and say, "Right, okay, here's the character, here's the notes." Yeah. So by the end of Monday, I'd have to produce a, a drawing or some some ideas, which hopefully were approved by Tuesday. Yeah. Then mold, you know, sculpt it pretty much in a day, mold it, cast it in foam, you know, blah 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 blah, and and. Right. Um, yeah, and in a couple of weeks we'd we'd have the finished thing, and wow. like I say, we, but we got it down. You know, we had a routine going in the in the shop. But it was um, a lot because there were a lot of characters. There was, was a lot, right, yeah. and really beautiful designs. But you yeah. know what? I'm talking yeah. about this, and uh, we can talk about it on the other show. But okay, um, but uh, Pons, do you have like a favorite show that you remember doing with him? Or I like the I like Tar Pits one. The Tar Pits. <laughs> We were all stuff. sinking down, and and then at the end, it was just like, just this snout. It's like it's just like this snout, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Yeah, and I think Sam McMurray was such a great choice, don't you? Do yeah, you, for the voice. Yeah, yeah, he was fantastic. Yeah. I think the, all the voice casting was really excellent on the show. Yeah. Do you um? Do you think? 
Dave Gr- Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that was one of their rare arguments. They got into a fight, right? Didn't they have? Uh, was that or, was that actually part of the show, or was that just yeah. us? Yeah, no, well, that was. Uh, I think they get into like, this there. argument together. <laughs> wow. Um, but uh, Dave Greenaway, uh, guy, I so wish we could have him on here. But Dave, version of Raw, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, his his characterization of Roy. What was that like hearing hearing that? I mean, that's all about the timing too, right? Well, it's hilarious because uh, if people don't know, Dave Greenaway has how would you describe his accent? Wales? Is he from Wales? Just, <laughs> yeah, where oh, is it? Question. I, I think he's somewhere from Wales. I, I honestly can't remember. I know what you mean. He's got kind of a unique. It's pretty unique. Uh, it, uh, I mean, it's an English accent, but it's it's a. It's almost a little bit West Country, a little bit Wales, you know. It's his own. So, yeah. so it's like, and then you know, and Roy is just like, hey, hey and, boy. and so then you have, and Dave was also very like eloquent and poetic, right. yeah, and, and and artistic, and he's playing this like kind of bumbling, naive, yeah, sweet. I think they the. The characters, you know, Dave was a very sweet guy, but uh, I mean, a lot of times I just crack up just hearing Dave doing his version of Roy's voice because then he he was trying to do what you know what Sam started doing the voice. It's like, well, we know what Roy sounds like. So then, <laughs> his version, yeah, you would crack up too. I mean, it's just me oh, like, yeah. hey, hey guys, what are you doing there? <laughs> was it a slight? Is it some yeah. alone, like puppeteering or something? Yeah, we're all trying to do this scene, <laughs> but you hear Dave, you know, like, it was so funny. Oh I, I, but I I'm think looking, that I'm looking everywhere yeah, online for him. Like that. What's that, Jane? I think that I'm really fed every... into the performance. Oh, I'm, I'm looking everywhere and... online for him, and he, I don't see anything oh, no, about no, him. Or... No, no, this is the mysterious Dave. You will not find things of him online. That yeah. was really hard to get that picture. Uh, yeah. That's from Ninja Turtles, actually. That yeah. Huh. Um, uh, but, yeah, that, he was just, oh, my God. And, and then, you know, he was also Spike, which he won't be here for that. But um, another kind of Do you think character. he's wanted by the law? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. No, no. Well, he's happy. after dinosaurs, he was he was in the, um, you know, the the, the mob. Criminal, the, the, well, what's it called when you get sent to away because you got got to get away because you. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh, you know. Oh, yeah. Witness protection program. Witness protection. Yeah, it's after like he's witness protection. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. gone. <laughs> he's um, probably living yeah. in Kansas, and his name is uh, Wilbur uh, Flynn, <laughs> Flynn, Flynn or something. I did. I did actually get a chance to talk with him, and, and he just isn't wasn't up for doing this. And it uh, cup but, of tea. But, yeah, it wasn't his cup of tea. But but I, I totally get it. Um, he hates but it was us. so good he to hear us. him. <laughs> yeah, but it was so we make we made fun of viewer. his accent, and he's done. How come I uh, have cameras that absolutely still? Oh, that's there? right. Yeah, we're not. Uh, yeah. Because we don't have well, Steve. Mine can run a lot. You want to see some action cam? <laughs> Here we go. What's going on there? I don't know. There you go. Right, Maybe that'll <laughs> feed their interest enough. I, I think we're that warning could, them. I think that could take us uh, into Monica. We could trans transition. Good transition. <laughs> Get rid of bonds. Get rid of bonds. <laughs> oh yeah, you ready? Along the neck, down through the mouth, the long neck of Monica. <laughs> um, Elvis. But, go to but uh, <laughs> thank you guys for doing this. I appreciate you coming on and doing it. Well, but Pete, you're going to come back yeah. to our workshop show. Julianne, sure. you're coming back for Unisaurus, correct? Yes. Yay. Are you going to stay, stay with us? Because now we're going to talk about Monica and Pons. Yeah. Yes. Um, I don't know. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank you. It's <laughs> been a pleasure. Great seeing Thanks, everyone. Buddy. Thanks All so right. much for doing it. Good to see you. See you guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.
Okay. Cups hurt. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This, wait, Get out. Pete, Pete staying in the green room or going away completely? They, they're finished with us. They've had okay. enough. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right. Hi. Hi. Ham. Jilly Ham. <laughs> there was a request um, that I do piddles a little bit. So. Hey. Oh. Hello. Hello, everybody in the chat. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, is she a little... Is there a little Japanese going on with pedals? No. No. <laughs> no it, it's just, it's kind of the way. It's tight. Yeah. Tight. Just, tight. Just, yeah. <laughs> Jackson would love that. <laughs> he loves your characters. So uh, we're going to talk about Monica a little bit. And we Yay. have with us, joining us, uh, Mr. Jock Jack Tate. Yay! Oh, sorry, Jake. There he is. Hi. Hey, Jack. Hey. Hi. Hey. So, Jack, uh, Jack is um, going to help us talk about how this beast was, in, you know, <laughs> what? I've got, I've got this on oh. replay. Now. How do I get that off? You've got what? Who? Oh, got I've got now? some oh, kind of uh, delay. Are you still watching on something else? In another browser. Uh that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'll get that. Yeah, up. get rid of that. I'll get it. Up. You've got Gus behind you. <laughs> that makes much. Uh, no, no, no. That's Gus. <laughs> no, no, that's not. That's that's something completely different. No? Yeah, that's Gus. <laughs> Gus as the leader of the gang. Oh, that just it and ha, ha, it, I drove my car home one night, and there he was. Oh my God! Well, let's let's. I want to save him for Unisur's day. Let's not share oh, yeah, too yeah. much at the moment. Um, but let's talk about Monica, Julianne. Where did um? What, what season did Monica start? Was she beginning of three or end of two? Uh, beginning of two. I was brought. Oh, beginning of two. Two. Yeah. Wow. Season wow. two. Yeah. Is she, that, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just saying I wasn't in season one. Um, so that's why. Monica, I, you mean. Or no, me. I didn't do oh, season yeah. one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I was off God. doing another puppet TV show. Oh. Yeah, I was out. Uh, the Pee Wee, Pee Wee people um, came out here to do Riders in the Sky. So I did a Ooh. season of that. And then luckily it wasn't picked up. And right. if it had been picked up, I wouldn't have been able to do Dinosaurs. Wow. Anymore. I didn't know that. But yeah. Wow. And, and so then, but you didn't, but she was in season two right off the bat. When did she? I think so. Because. Wow. And how, what was the process for that for you? Because that had you done the HDPS stuff before then? No. no. I'd never done a hand puppet before. Like, oh, really? Wow. Yeah. The, uh, the, yeah, the puppets on um, Riders in the Sky were something different. Oh, wow. Oh, all yeah. Right. That was brand new. <laughs> so, right. So, so this was all, this, this system was all brand new. And all and of it. I was just thrown into the fire. Yeah. So, right. Right. Yeah, and then was there an odd, Audition to do the character? I think I was in the first round of auditions and wasn't um, hired for the first season. So, but, but I mean, for Monica, was there an audition thing or, there, or did Brian do like, I think you should do? Gosh, I don't know. I don't no. remember. No. No. Well, well, whatever it was, you ended up becoming Monica. And then, uh, like most of the characters, they added a voice, right? Susie. Uh, yeah. Susie Plaxton, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but can we talk about, so so she basically was Fran's, can you tell people what, who she yeah, was? Yeah, she was Fran's buddy. Um, right. And she had just gotten divorced. I think she was the first dinosaur to ever be divorced. Because <laughs> <laughs> they had, um, back then, the marriage licenses had to be renewed every year. So she just decided not to renew her marriage license. And uh, that's how and dinosaurs get divorced. Divorce. She was divorced like divorced by neglect. <laughs> the what? The what? Divorced by neglect. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, um, we'll get to it. <laughs> but she added, or she's the one who really like she would motivate Fran, right, to be like the stronger women's liber, stronger, right? Yeah, yeah she, she was a little, yeah, feminist. Yeah. Um, yeah. Addition to the show, yeah, definitely. That the show needed that. Uh, it, it I don't really know about did. little. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, but so she was a at least in on the stage, she was basically a neck, right? Yeah, coming through the window. 
Right. That's all you or, saw and the assumption that there was a giant body out there. But um, what was actually outside the window then was uh, a giant fulcrum and like two levers or three levers. There, there were six people. Yeah. And we were pitching our body weight. And it was sort of this elliptical form just to get her head into the window for you to take over. Oh my God. Yeah. But, but you, and you were amazing. Right. But it rolled in and out. Like, what were the different things it did so people oh, have a sense God. of what it did? Uh, sh there were like Not three. Much. Yeah. Yeah. It was really hard because there was, like, there was a neck joint so she could do that. Then there was another joint a little further so she could go. And then there was another joint. And these were, they were all operated by, it was, so hard, so hard. And six people. We weren't busy, so it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, um, but you have to be pretty specific to get through. I mean, it wasn't like the easiest thing in the world to do. You had to come into the kitchen. Yeah. And then also there was, like when they were in court, right? Her, her neck kind of comes into the courtroom. There was that. Yeah. She was in the, oh, for, right, for the construction. Yeah. Uh, when she was like, didn't you become one of the... She joined the the workers. Oh, she tried to do I a, a so, job. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. And she's eating his head. Sucked into the shrine. Yeah. But the hey, rough thing about all the levers and trying to, trying to do all the, yeah, to, to, to the poor team. Oh my God, it was so hard for for the whole team because if if one if some of the levers were pulled to move one joint, it would throw all the other levers and off so it, there was all this constant ad adjusting for each joint mm. um, trying to counter what was happening yeah it was um really difficult difficult puppet how many how many different uh expressions and facial like i don't think people realize what that system was but you had to program all the different little buttons and things right yeah On we all did we get we programmed uh uniquely like um all of our faces like if uh you know we could put our eyes or our lips or anything on all the joints so we programmed it to to how we wanted to operate it um i loved that that was my yeah i did that first before the hand puppets so that was that's my first love is that hdps oh okay right and jack did you ever mess with that system nope. I mean, I, I I I sort of looked at it, and uh, it was not my bailiwick, so right. I, I just sat inside big suits and sweated until <laughs> I got on the Monica crew, and and I was out of latex, so it was really fun for me. Wow. And you know, you can you can of, sweat and then just change your clothes. Yeah, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of hanging out in in suits and things, here's. Yeah. One of my the favorite things that you've done during the the uh, the run of dinosaurs, Jack. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> there That's goes Nisha. So good. So smooth. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bill wrote me a, a, a on on the portrait I got of uh, of uh, Earl, he wrote Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire move over or something like that. That's right. That's right. We, got to, we got to dance a lot together. Yeah, yeah. And, and, <laughs> Back uh, to Monica. The what? Oh, no, no, Back no. Back to Monica. Oh, no. I, just want to, I also just want to mention, because I don't think a lot of people would know unless they watched our last show, that you, you are Jack. Jack oh. in the box, Jack. And, and how many years do you do that? 20? How many years did you do? I was in right. all, all the time for 20 years, and then it, all the specialized one for the next five years, they cherry-picked me and put me back in. They had fired the original production team, and you'll notice the last five years, they're not funny at all. Mm. The, the guy. Well, let, let's just be clear for our viewers. We're talking about Jack in the Box, right. the fast Big, food uh, chain. Yeah. The yeah. Jack in the Box, yeah, the guy. Yep. Yeah. That's Jack. Do, do, do. <laughs> Let's see uh, this guy here. Bring him up. <laughs> I'm going to have him in a second here. See if I can put this in front of the camera so you Yay! can hear my face. There's your face. He looks just like you. I know yeah. you right away. Yeah, it was sculpted from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I it's saw just it on a, TV. It's just first. a life mask. Yeah, right. uh, yeah it, was a, it was like a football player mask. You know. That's so cool. Hey, Julie, I got a little question here, Julianne. 
Uh, what was it like performing the translation weasel from Puppet Up? <laughs> that was one of my favorite Puppet Up characters, especially with the flexible expressions. Who's, who's translation weasel? Uh, it, it was just a, a beautiful little sock puppet weasel. Um, I love Is those. Is the one from Office Tonight, the one the, that weasel that's been around? The real yeah, one? the been yeah, yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what did you do with him? Uh, we one of the improv games is uh, was translation. So um, one person would talk in gibberish, and then the other one would. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Awesome. But I love I love those puppets that don't have palettes and don't have skeletons and bones. You know, they're just right you on your hands. So you can do all that great. Yeah. Yep. Love here's it. A, here's another yeah. character of yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Jack Tate. That's from a uh, Muppets on Wheels. Yeah, a video we did just after Dinosaurs. Right? It wasn't long after, was it? Yeah. 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 One of the I think one of the first puppet things I did. Probably with you, Julianne. Oh, too. right, yeah. Yeah. We, we we talked a lot about just seeing the neck, but here's actually an image of the body when it was. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what they did. A couple of interior <laughs> shots before the show would start, or they would introduce that scene. I love yeah. that. So how how big would that have been? Well, that's Just that's a small a little scale thing, like yeah. about this big. About yeah. this big. Yeah, yeah that's a lot. Right. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't big but at all. a big statue on the Henson lot. Every time I would go to work after that, I would stop and visit her. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. On the, oh, really? uh, as you come in. Yeah. In the back way. Yeah. yeah. I, for some reason, I thought that was from, um, uh, what do you call it? From uh, the Flintstones, but it's not, right? It's her. No, yeah, it's her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she was, I can't remember why she was built, but she was used in um, photo things. You, you sit on her on the saddle there oh. and get your picture taken. I think it was like at the rat party or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. But what else can we say about Monica? I just, I well, just thought she was about, so cool. You talked about love affair. Oh, right. We didn't talk about Roy and Monica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. How silly they are. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Do you think she loved him or did she just feel sorry for him? <laughs> I think, looks she, like I think she thought he was sweet. I think everybody wants to take care of Roy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think she felt like he needed somebody to to take care of him. Look at him. Look how yeah. stupid he is. <laughs> but like neither one high. of them could pick anything up. So what? A, what yeah, what did they do? <laughs> have, have, a, have a crew. Have, a, have servants. <laughs> yeah. They must yeah. have. They had to hire, they had to hire other, yeah, other little... Beasts to run around and get them stuff. Um, whoops, Gus sexually harassed Monica. That's right. What oh, sexual? He was sexual Harris. He was Al sexual Harris. Yeah. Right. And you played a lot. I don't want. That's the thing. Like I don't want to talk too much because we're gonna have the Unisaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you played a lot of different characters. I thought, how what a fun thing to take. Because I always loved it on the Honeymooners when there was an actor who would play. You know four or five different characters, the doctor, the judge, the, you know, and that, that was the opportunity for you, right? To do that. Yeah. Misha and I were kind of the rest of the world until a few other actors show up, showed up. Right. Yeah. Star and yep. others. There was, there was, uh, well, Mr. Who was, was that Ed? Was Mr. Pullman the teacher? Was Alan's? That was Alan's one. Yeah. Right. And who was in there? Tom? Tom Fisher. Tom right. Fisher. I think that he was built for Tom. Oh, right. That's right. Yeah. And then we had, and then Star, who added some of the teenage and then female characters, the, the one in she was great. school and other, yeah, other female characters. We needed those. Yeah, she was really good. May I say that Julian's voice as Monica, I liked it better. I, I, I liked oh, her reads God, better. I, I thought she was really smooth. I mean, yeah. Not, not enough O's and smooth. Thank All right, <laughs> I know. Well, mm. it's, it's interesting. Like, even I thought in the, along those lines. Like, I thought Julianne. They could have just left it as Julianne. That's what I thought. Robbie. I think they could have left as Steve. Yeah. Let's yeah, hear, yeah, let's yeah, hear yeah, your Monica really voice. Let's hear your Monica voice. Oh God, oh, I don't gosh. remember. You don't remember? Okay. It's really close to yours, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. yeah Here's just, a question which is for not you hard guys. to listen to. <laughs> Bradley wants to know: Do you have any opinions on the walk-around versions of the dinosaur costumes at Disney Park? I didn't I, know there I, were, were any. I don't know there are any. I didn't, what? I didn't either, but are there? Have you seen them, Bradley? They're going to come know. for my sculpture. 
<laughs> yeah, right. No, I've never seen those. Dinosaur yeah, yeah. Space show at Disney Parks? Was there like a special event they did or something maybe years ago? But what have you seen, Bradley? It can't be a regular there. thing. Oh. Well, well, maybe now they're, they're extinct. I pity those kids. I really, yeah. <laughs> really, really, really do. Oh, look. She said there's, Deborah says there's a parade too. So tell us. Oh, so here we go. Yeah, they were around for a little while. Google it since I can't send you pics. All right, I'll do that. No, you know, there were, and actually there, I wonder if they're the same ones. They had a couple that were at a Donald Trump dinner. Yeah, something. yeah. They had Earl and I think. Uh, yeah. Fossil Should fuel. Go. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but this was fossil fuel supports Donald Trump. <laughs> but this was That's years good. ago. This was years ago, and I, I wonder if it was though that style. I mean, they're very stiff and very kind of, you know, yeah, um, not my favorite look <laughs> uh, for our characters. We, we're our characters are pretty amazing. The very sleek Gus. Gus, very <laughs> sleek. Yeah. Man, those oh wait, look, look. Here we go. Hang on. You found the Trump thing? No, I found Disney li Dinosaurs Live. Let me just drag it right, down. Never heard of it. Was it live? Have was that in Florida? That? Hang on. Here we go. Let's I don't remember see. that being. Oh, wait. I have in the California part. Where'd it go? I just dragged it. Here we go. All right. Let me open up this. It's a whole process here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my what? God. Wow. So that, so that is the Earl that was at that dinner and the yeah. friend. Yeah. Oh my, but look, wait, this is old. How old is this? This can't be recent. That was an early Fran, 91. This is says Dinosaurs Live. This is, um, yeah, look wow. at Fran. Like, you're right, Jack. You're right. That's that's the original. That's an early oh. Fran and an early Charlene, too. Uh. Yeah, it says 91. Yeah, that's probably right. And I think that's From... a plush, a plushy Ethel. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank wow. you, Muppet Muppet Wiki. Thank you for uh, making that available to us. Here. About that. That's crazy. The I color is so dark. Far. Yeah. They're so much smaller, right? Than, than oh, my God. Yeah. What they were. Oh, my God. We'll have to show that to Lisa when we bring her Thanks. Up. Thank you, Bradley. That's she would have liked cool. uh, the smaller version, I'm sure, of those suits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh wait, hold on. Wait, here's one, Jack. Georgie. Georgie, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I actually, I actually puppeteered Georgie because Georgie talked like this, so his jaw would drop when I talk. <laughs> I, I, sort of, I, I did these little, and it was weighted so that. It, you could do I that. don't know how. To, I just discovered it, and it just it started to talk like I'm gonna crush you like a bug. <laughs> and his, 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 uh, right. his jaw would. Oh, again, we're going to talk about that stuff um, on our on our Unisaur Day. We got lots of characters to discuss on that day. There's so yeah, many yeah, right here. Joseph, so one of our one of our Muppet trivia contestants asks, "Did you have favorite episodes?" Uh, I liked the um, the leaf one where the the, the new leaf. Yeah. Everybody also, got when, um, when when Earl was laughing, he couldn't stop laughing. And then he then he realized he wasn't wearing pants. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, and, we're not and leaf stepping in at the end saying, so if you do drugs, we're going to do more preachy sitcoms. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's, that's, a threat. Right. that's <laughs> right. That's right. At the end. And actually, Leaf and I um, Here's my leaf. that dance at home because we live together. Oh, my God. So we came, we were doing it. We planned that dance at home and tried <laughs> to figure out how to do it on the show. That was fun to do. What was that, Jack? I'm sorry, I missed that. Oh, that was my leaf. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Awesome. It's legal here. Are you, yeah. in, Jack? Are you in a workshop there? What have you got going on? Atelier. Yeah, ah. yeah. That's that's where I build stuff. And in my recording studio, here's my my. Uh, whoops! Can you see this? My road. My oh yeah. Road and, you know, yeah. All you got some nice. You got a bunch of dinosaur stuff back there. I see now. Mm -hmm. Jackets. Jackets. There's my yeah. And I've I've. Uh, my wife was a really good seamstress. She she did the um, the bodices for Age of Innocence by Martin Scorsese, and she wow. adorned my old dinosaur jacket when it was falling to crap. And when she passed, I took over the job and started doing the sewing too. Oh. I, hold on. What? Oh. You gonna get it? Oh, good. 
You gotta show it now. Oh yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. Nice. Save the head. Yeah. Julie Ham. Yes. So I um, can't hear you. Oh. I know there were a bunch of um chat questions. Thanks that I for missed. showing that. Yeah, hold on. Good. Do, do you see one in particular, Julianne, that you want? No, to they were way in the back. Ask your questions Ooh. again, guys, because I totally missed them. So sorry, because I, I can't read the chat on the. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're also it. kind of juggling. I'll go find some. So we Jack. grab a few questions, but uh, but you also, all, Julian, we're gonna, again, we're going to talk about this on Unisaurus, but you also did other characters as well, ham puppet what? characters. Yeah. So did you learn the ham puppeteering while we were doing dinosaurs? Is that what you did? Did I what? I'm sorry. Did I learn? Did you learn to do hand puppets while we were doing dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And what, how did you How did you learn? People would love to know how you taught yourself, or what? How did you learn? Um, it was just super easy for me. Um, mm. I just kind of took to it. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, did you practice at home? Did you? No, I can't explain it. I just. Uh, you just did it on the set. Yeah. Kevin just said do that, and then it just yeah. happened. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Joseph, Julianne, I heard you talk about the audition process on Grant Pachoco's podcast, but was the dinosaur... Oh, well, we did ask earlier what... Uh, there wasn't the much of was one, like. you said. Right? Yeah, yeah, there really wasn't. Um, mm -hmm. I just remember a, a big warehouse with some turtle heads, actually. Hmm. Um, it wasn't a hand puppet audition. Right. I did try to prep for that. Um, I did have somebody that actually had kind of some animatronic stuff to try to get ready on, but. Right, right. Can you please do Weasel's voice for fan of <laughs> Forgotten Muppets? <laughs> for <laughs> Weasel's voice, oh my gosh. Uh, this is always awkward to me. Yeah, because the voices. Weasel had different voices all the time. Right, you did all kinds of characters in that show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so there wasn't really one one Weasel voice. Yeah. Um, well, you know, <laughs> Casper, again with the requests, <laughs> right? I know. Well, we're gonna we're gonna bring, I think, on our spiky friends, our friends of of Spike, and but we're gonna see you guys on the thirty first, right? You're gonna come back, yes. Mm -hmm. and Jack, you can put Gus on your head when we uh, the next time. <laughs> it's filled with urethane foam. It'd be really tight. <laughs> I figured. I figured. Yeah, and that'll be after dinosaur. No. You put the jack in the box hat on? No. no. <laughs> I can just put him close to the camera so you can't there see you go. Face. Yeah. Yay. Right on there. That's good. Yeah. Sorry, Julian. What did we say? What did you say? I cut you off. But that's after the 31st is after we we start airing on Disney Plus, right? It is. Yep. Oh boy. Yep. 29th it'll be, it'll be, Friday? Yep. It'll be right after it's come out. So <laughs> it'll be fun to hear what people are seeing again. Now it's interesting in the in, when when we were on TGI Fridays they didn't really promote us very much hmm. and i've been searching for dinosaurs on disney plus there is no indication that it's coming <laughs> same people are working those uh it's consistent <laughs> i got a feeling it's consistent yeah. <laughs> thank right, you guys oh mary <laughs> yeah a proposal oh yeah. you know what wait a minute sherwin what? he proposed to jane in the last show Oh, oh. He didn't propose to me. Uh, He's trying. He is desperate. Well, Julianne, <laughs> what do you say, Julianne? Well, if, if, he, if, he's, if we had to see if he's going to marry Jane. No, I don't think it's happening. She refused him. <laughs> Jane she, said no? No. No, she didn't. She didn't say no? I thought she said <laughs> I no. So. Yeah, she told me, don't you dare. Oh. All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right guys. Thank you. Mike. Jack might marry you. Oh, Jack. Yeah, I, I, he didn't ask me. Well, that's true. I don't know if that person is a he. Uh -huh. It is. It is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. okay. Oh, well. Thank you, Jack. Nice to see <laughs> you again. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in a week. Yay. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right. All right. You know what? I could. I'm in the mood for a bald guy from Florida. I'm in a mood for a guy who doesn't know how to catch fish. But I'm actually really in the mood for a cute, special, intelligent, smart, life saving, bright, shiny, smiling young lady as well. Somebody's going to propose here. Well, this I think I'm going to love fest to one of our <laughs> to one of our guests. I mean, my wife won't appreciate it, but she's in the next room. We'll hear from her. She's on the chat. She's angry. oh, is she there? 
Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So if I propose to Julianne, she'll, she'll, Julianne, I just said, if I propose to Lisa. And let's bring oh, her on. I mean, who knows if she'll want to. Lisa me. Rocco. Hi. Bald guy from Florida. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Hi, Jean. John, I was thinking of you today because I was looking at the drawing that I did when you called me from Vancouver and I was at the, the, at the Wyeth property sketching. Remember that talk? Yeah. It was like, yeah. So I was cool. thinking of you earlier today. I think anyway. of you every day, Gene. <laughs> oh, Lisa, do you think of me? Will you marry me, John? <laughs> I think of you guys all the time. I think of you. Yeah. How you doing, folks? Good. Good. All right, you're here. Thank you for doing this. We appreciate it. Thanks we, for having uh, us. Yeah, you know, it's it's so, so interesting. Like, so many people do so many different things. We've talked about this before, but everybody did so many different things on the show that you start to just kind of, you can't help but go over into other characters and other jobs and experiences and things that we did. So we're going to try and stick with Spike, I think, but yeah, I'm sure we'll... <laughs> we'll <Yeah>. lead <laughs> off into other things, you know. Um, and unfortunately, as we know, the amazing Mr. Dave Greenaway can't be with us. Uh, who That's was disappointing? I missed oh, I Dave. I know, right? What the hell? Why can't he be with us? What's going on? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I mean, I mean, he's lovely about it. And he really was thought about it, and, but he just said it's not his there cup of tea. There he is. Oh. He's with us. There we go. And I certainly, I understand, you know, it's just not his thing. And, and, and you know, Davey, he was a private kind of guy until he performed. But um, I don't know. It's a shame. But I would love to have seen him here. Maybe we'll get him at some point. Maybe. Maybe. He had a nickname. Well, yeah, go ahead. Shaky Dave. That's Remember? it. Because that was yeah. like his style of performance. That's right. He, would, he had those controls and he would he would just shake them. <laughs> and it was, the character would do things, you know, and you're like, how's he doing that? And yeah. You just see him shaking the controls. Shaky Dave. And 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 he did. He kind of had a little quiver. It was the energy, all that energy in him. Yeah. And yeah. then it wow. would come through that, you know? It was amazing. And we were just talking about John, you missed it, but we were talking earlier with uh Pons and uh Pete and and Julianne. But the expressions that he would make when he would do right. Yes, they were. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I was totally, out of his mouth. Hey, Polly, but the It was the most unusual. <laughs> it was so awesome. Easy and fun, you know. Okay, but, can I ask before we get into that? I have a question for John that's slightly unrelated. Okay. John, was the puppeteer you trained with Brad Williams the same as the late Brad Williams that worked on Nickelodeon's Pinwheel? Yes, it is. Okay. Anything you want to say about him? Uh, he was on Nickelodeon's pinwheel. He was. <laughs> he also uh, created the window for Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh, the window cool. puppet. He oh, came okay. to Indianapolis before I ever moved to Florida and before I ever worked with Muppets or did dinosaurs. And I trained under him at the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra where we were doing the Yuletide celebration, giant puppets that he had built. They're almost like bread and puppet kind of characters, you oh. know, where you wear a helmet and then there would be a pipe that would go up to the head, which is way up above. And then you had big uh, boxes on your feet that you're, so you kind of were up on this, pl on these platform shoes. And then the arms had um, poles that went out to the hands and the hands were, you know, up higher, you know, like up here. So you're, moving them so the shoulders are kind of your head and then the neck was that pole and then the and so i played scrooge in the indianapolis symphony symphony orchestra's yuletide celebration oh, wow. and then the next year i built reindeer puppets for it was the night before christmas so i had these sort of upside down marionette puppets that had a strap it strapped on your back and the reindeer were way up above and you would pull the yeah. legs and they would kick and so we had the whole team, and then I had a radio-controlled Santa Claus that I made. I had that had a, a garage door opener on it too, where you push the button <laughs> and the cheeks would light up. Wow! <laughs> garage door. Really, oh my god! Cool. I had no idea, John. Yeah, no I made, you were good at the boss man. 
<laughs> it was it was like that, yeah. You were really great yeah. at that. Like like you know, <laughs> I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you do it with everything you do. John is like a master of any manipulation, any figuring out how to do things, make things come to life. It's just amazing. You ever want you ever want somebody to be a part of like when we have to create a character together, everybody wants John because John can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I remember having an argument with Dave Coles once about get who could have John. I was like, no, I need John. I need <laughs> really. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's I had so a lot weird. of those actually debates of who, why I need John. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but uh, but to talk about Spike. So Dave was inside this time, right? Lisa, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So he would get in. How? What was it like getting him in there? I remember that was like oh, it was a difficult thing. one. He yeah, why? Because the head was way above him as well. And he had to do everything with a monitor from the inside. Mm. So he well, was I'm, looking inside his suit to be able to see out. I'm right. sorry, say uh, who, who was in the suit again? I think I may have coughed when you said it because I missed Greenway. it. Greenaway. Okay. That's David Greenway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He was, he was kind of yeah, like was that. There. Yeah, yeah. So, right. so he was doing the, the kind yeah. of the, the, the his, big bird style or bear style, but forward hand forward yeah because it was also off weighted in front of him right and so right. he was the left hand right he did yeah oh, there he is there there's he is. Mike and robbie they were best friends in school beautiful design Spike. yeah it was gorgeous and then john you enhanced his facial features right that was your part yeah. he had that beaky like mouth and so there was a servo in the tip of the nose and uh, and then those, you know, you could get an ooh out of him or an mm. e. Uh, plus, he had the eyebrows and blinks and eyes left and up, left and right, up and down, all that stuff too. Yeah, and it was. Seemed a, to re sorry, go ahead. Uh, I seem to remember he he had a tooth earring, and I don't see it in that photo. So you but, go back again? Yeah, he he had an earring. Yeah, he had like a. It was a molar. And it was nice. modeled after uh, Mike, the, the creature painter in the shop. He had oh, it was his, his real hair? tooth that he had for an earring. Mike McFarland? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So it was modeled after his ear, but I don't oh see my it in that gosh. Photo. How about that? That's funny. <laughs> Mike was on uh, last was it last week, right? With, yeah, with, yeah uh, I saw him. Yeah. Saw him? yeah. Yeah. He looked good. He looks the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um uh, but Lisa, so when you would get him, I don't think people realize because there are different parts of it, right? Yeah. You just talk a little bit about how we all kind of got in it. Everybody had different parts, but maybe with Spike, do you start? Where do you start? What's the body? What's how do you? He climbs into the body. He he would get inside of the body itself. So it that's wasn't like as many separate pieces as what you had, you know? Right, right, right. right. It, but then the head would go on top of that, and it would it would be kind of difficult to connect into the you know into the body itself. But mm -hmm. once it was uh, connected, it was all go from there. And so he, he stayed in it more than coming out <laughs> like some people did because right. of that. Oh right. More. How would you get to him? Like, what was was there a little little special kind of area that you could unzip or un velcro? Or yeah, something? there there was a part. I believe it was right under the the body. If you show the picture again, yeah, I believe it was uh, under the neck. Yeah, yeah, under his neck. Like where his t-shirt. Yeah, see where the red shirt is. Right. It was like underneath that shirt. Oh, I see. He used to walk into a lot of stuff, didn't he, John? He did, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, it's funny because you know most your character, you know Earl, you would have to op puppeteer would have to open the mouth to be able yeah. to see. Yeah. Now, I don't remember where he could see because I don't think it was through the mouth, but he had control of that. So he had a he had a monitor inside. Oh, that's right. He had a monitor, oh, yeah, right. a monitor inside. It's, it's still, that's really that's a hard thing to do when you're doing a full walk around thing because it's so disconcerting. You can't tell where you really are. Because camera yeah. moves and they're they're resetting and you know you don't all I can remember is always seeing him like backing up slowly you know yeah. trying to figure out where he was and then he turn and hit a wall <laughs> <laughs> so awful. So he actually could keep quite a bit of things inside with him. 
He was. You know, yeah. he, he could keep quite a bit of things inside with him. Sometimes, you know, he'd have snacks. I'd hand him <laughs> snacks and he'd have snacks or we'd yeah. get the blower in, inside for him. Oh, so he could do that himself? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Once yeah. I handed it in, I could hold it on to him and he could just grab it. So yeah. he would just reach in, you know, reach out and grab some stuff and take it inside with him. Right. Do you? But he was always playing games inside that. <laughs> <laughs> and did I can't remember? Did he have a stuffed right hand? Like, it, was it usually in his pocket, his right hand? Yeah. Unless yeah. somebody jumped in behind him and did the hand or something. Yeah, it was usually attached to him. Right. Was, right. Yeah. Uh, trying to remember myself with that. I think it must have been stuffed and in his kind of pocket, right? His jacket. Yeah, I think that's what it was in the jacket. Yeah. He uh, and his character was this kind of. He was like the James Dean of the dinosaurs in a way, right? Wasn't he supposed to be John? What was his character like? He was kind of like the Eddie Haskell, wasn't he? He's kind, oh. of, kind of the bad influence. Yeah, he's a bad influence <laughs> troublemaker. Yeah. Right. I remember right. And, um, it, and it was interesting. We were talking about how Dave Greenaway was in 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 as a person more reserved and you know a pole. Uh, you know, polite kind of guy. And then he had to do Roy, which is this big bumbling idiot. So he really had to come out of himself. And then I think with this character too, I think he had to really like kind of push to find that guy. Do you think that's true? I mean, I, I don't know. Well, maybe it was closer to him. Maybe it was closer to him. <laughs> maybe I, think, so. I think he pretty much got into method acting on that one. Yeah, <laughs> he, I guess was, pretty, he was that character when he yeah, was in there. He was a lot cooler than that. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, he always came across very polite, no matter what character he was, because <laughs> it was English politeness, I think. All right, John, All right. is that what is that behind me? I guess <laughs> he would be, you know, trying to figure out. Yeah, just, Here's he a, was always nice. Wasn't Spike the one who got Robbie hooked on Thornoids? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Know, yeah, Thornoids. I forget that they were like, uh, yeah, steroids. Okay. <laughs> That was another suit, right, Lisa, where they gave Robbie the big muscle, didn't they? Yeah, they, they built him up on one episode. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh man. Do you yeah, guys? I've forgotten about that one. Yeah. I, I don't. I lost it, but I'm going to ask Chicky Boy Entertainment's question. Do you guys have favorite episodes? Uh, I like when food goes bad. Oh, was that with the the the, the cat? The, not the captain, but. It was the yeah, Dave Goals. I got to right hand Dave Goals for that uh, cat or whatever it was that uh, had a cabbage, and so I had to hold his cabbage the whole time. <laughs> and, and I learned, you know, he he wanted me to stick right to him, and so I'm, you know, I'm trying to stick near, be near him. You know, I'm not gonna cramp his style or anything right. or get too close. And he's like, no, you need to grab my belt loop. And so he had me grab onto his belt loop and actually just hug onto him because yeah. he moved fast. He would he would just whip around and do stuff and you didn't know what he was gonna do and he just he didn't want you know me in his way. So right. I guess it was the easiest way. Oh there he is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, look at you. Wow, you got them all. I do too somewhere. Yeah. Um, that was a good one. The yeah, uh, yeah to to just uh Monster under the bed was fun too. In any way, right? So you're never you're never too far to pull the puppet, in a sense, with a live hand, right? It's you're right there. You're gonna right. You're gonna, you're gonna feel the move when it yeah happens, right? yeah. He he just wanted me to hang on tight because we were going for a ride. <laughs> just, yeah. He whip around real quick, and I had to be behind him as soon as he, or otherwise I'd be in front of him, and then he'd, you know, so right. It, it yeah. was. And oh. I had been dancing a lot, you know, I was a singer dancer in Indianapolis. So yeah. it, you know, it was a whole other, you know, you know, thought mode, I, but it was kind of, you know, it was kind of like dancing, dancing, you know, course. dancing with Dave. Wait, Wait, I didn't know you actually danced as a career. I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. I thought you were always just parodying <laughs> those no. things. And Dirty dancing. <laughs> there well, it John's is. a dancer, Gene. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know that was real. Yeah, look yeah. at the moves. <laughs> Absolutely. I I would just do, start uh, dancing in the street. You know, right? We'd 
remember we'd be in Toronto, yes. Bill and Christina, <laughs> and, and and I would just jump out in front of your car with the headlights and just start dancing in the street. <laughs> All right. These are my best. Yeah. My favorite, rather. I'm going to find something. We did, we did. We danced in Vegas. We danced in Toronto. The Christmas party in North Carolina. Yes. Can I, if I find that, if I find that video, can I show it, John? Can we show that? Sure. Dance? All right, let me find it. Lisa, what's your, uh, what, do you have like a favorite? You know, I, I really liked, um, I liked Monster Under the Bed. I thought that oh, was yeah. a lot of fun, that one. Yeah, Alan. Um, and hysterical. The, what sexual harassment. Yeah. That, that was. Fun. We were uh, just talking with Jack because he was sexual harass. He yeah. Was yeah. Sexual harass. yeah. And um, my mom always loved the fridge creatures. Oh, yeah. That was every time they came on, she just laughed and laughed and <laughs> laughed and laughed. <laughs> it just kicked her. She loved it. Wow. Yeah. John, you were. But I like all of them. I mean, a favorite's really hard because they're all so good. I know. I don't know if I could pick a favorite. Gene, do you remember having a favorite? Monster Under the Bed was good, too. Monster Under the Bed. Yeah, you said that. That's the one that's oh, yeah. the one Alan plays. Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, there's so great outtakes from that one. And uh, what what was the um, <clears throat> Out of the Frying Pan? The Frying Pan one? Oh, that was that's the one where uh, – that's the title of it. I was I can't remember. We were talking on some I show. Where I think Kevin, I have that, I think, somewhere. Yeah, we were rehearsing when Earl gets hit in the face. Yeah. Oh, no. Different. Is that the same one with the shovel or the frying? That's a frying pan. I think that's the frying pan. I remember. I, you know, I'm thinking of the shovel thing. My favorite, I think, is when they bury Ethel. Oh my God! Yeah, that yeah. was. Yeah. Is that hurling day? Is that what that is? is that, that hurling day? You know, they hurl her off the that the was mountain. That was the first or the, episode, wasn't it? Uh, it was one of the first ones, I think. Yeah. Is no, this the is when they. Oh, okay. Okay. No, what, the one with Ethel when they bury her in the backyard, and oh. Buddy Hackett is her husband in heaven. There's a puppet. Uh, <laughs> Hackett did the voice. I think it was the second season, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it was. Uh, we were rehearsing the shovel hitting Roy and uh, Roy Earl in the face, and Kevin was rehearsing the shovel, and I was standing there for camera, and he hit me in the face. With yeah, the <laughs> of course. You remember that, Lisa? Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's awesome. like ah. <laughs> oh, Jesse Oliver. There you go. This pan's pretty good. That's from that's from that out of the frying pan. That's great. Yeah. Billy, what was the holiday that you had when in the home down in Wilmington? Christmas. You did have a Christmas party there? Yeah. yeah. Everybody brought ornaments that they made and we put them on the tree and John but I did think it's amazing. No, that's not it. The heck? You did a spin and everything. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I know. I can't. I don't know. I, I took over it. your house. I just went crazy. <laughs> you just put a camera on me, and I can't stop. <laughs> <It's the best. laughs> oh, here's a line from uh, a very good Nick Kramer. Remembers the line from when they buried her. I knew I should have cremated her. Oh, I found it. It was. It? I, have it as, I have it as New Year's Eve. Let me oh, just no. get it all set up. Hang on. Oh, nice. No, it was Christmas. Uh, here's an interesting statement. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Let's get let's work it out, John. Do you disagree? <laughs> or do you I, I no, I agree. I think they All should. Right. Lisa, yeah. you think that's probably a good thing. Why okay. do you think they haven't? What do you think? Why do you think it hasn't happened? I don't know. Though no. they they don't call or anything. It's weird. Oh. <laughs> maybe we can sign a petition. Yeah, maybe we can get them to come out. Let's start a GoFundMe. <laughs> right. uh, do you have it, Gene? Or what do you I do, but I'm converting it. Just talk uh, amongst yourselves. Yes. It'll just take like another minute. Look, How about the, the nuts to war one? Oh, oh that was really great. good. That was the, that the cookie was, creature. That was the time. <laughs> it's right there. You know what? That might be a favorite too, because that. I even loved like that they were like the um, the sister uh, Roy and Earl. Who and then Charlene? And don't they do the oh. sisters? Oh yeah, yeah. They, they dress up and they're they're like the dancing. Girls <laughs> yeah, <right>. yeah. <laughs> that was fun. The USO. 
Yeah. What a exactly. great show, really. <clears throat> what a commentary on the war at the time. And, oh, um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it was a two-parter, which was yeah. fun. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. All right. Really? You got this? And war, no, I, war, I apologize. Sorry. Oh, wait, war ahead. stood for uh, We Are Right. That's right. We Are Right. <laughs> and it was, it was over. the very first war. We, remember, they had that whole thing about, well, let's shorten it. Can we shorten it? We Are Right's too long. The press didn't want to use We Are Right. War. And somebody was like, war. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't figure out how to pronounce it. Yeah. 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 I, I apologize to the viewers because it's it's very dark in the shot, but you can still make out. And it was over out. nuts instead of oil, right? It was like yeah. their oil. It was over uh, pistachios, I think. Pistachios, right? And it was a dividing line, the rib, like an area. Yeah. 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 Okay, all set. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the stylings of Mr. John Kennedy. John never stops dancing. <laughs> oh no. Who that mode? That's got to be from a show. Uh, it was. Yeah. Here he goes. I, I think it was our Beatles medley. Yeah, yeah here he goes. Yeah. <laughs> here it comes. So sorry. Here it so sorry. <laughs> He's coming here. He's a little tired. <laughs> he doesn't stop though. Yeah, there he goes. He's the only one dancing. That's like this. He's sexy, sexy. He's sexy. <laughs> 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 they, it's like they shoot horses, don't they? It's just a marathon. <laughs> God, like nobody's the there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Right. Okay, okay, John. Show us a little of that live. Come on. Wait, come <laughs> Let's on the case. I can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, the best. <laughs> I don't know how I did some of those. Oh my God. <laughs> At that time of the day, we, that was like, that was a lot of people had gone home and we were still going. Yeah, that's right. It was really late. <laughs> up, man. That was What's awful. amazing too is that built that home you see. Yeah. That was Billy and I lived in that alone. It was a four story mansion right. because it was the only thing they had left because they had to get us out of the. The smaller one that we were supposed to stay in for some reason. The first house, so, yeah, they sold it. And then eventually Brian came down and stayed with us for a bit. And then I left after my work was done, and you guys had family parties and everything. Well, Christina, it was huge. Christina, mm -hmm. Christina came before Brian and joined us. And then you went, then you left. And then basically it became the family house where all the different cousins came and, <laughs> you know, Brian and. Uh, Christina was there before Brian? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Did I know her then? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like. <laughs> no, I got, I got the chronology mixed up. Uh, but yeah, but no, yeah, it was a fun house. It had an elevator in it and a indoor pool. Lisa, this place was crazy. It was on the. I uh, missed out. <laughs> no, it was on the Sound. It was like the last house uh, on Wrightsville Beach before the Sound became the ocean. Oh it's wow! Right at the end, and had this. Wait, all right. oh, God, it was ridiculous. No, I've yeah. got to find that now. Beautiful. No, you don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think you know. I think we've got our our spike out of us. He was a I, character. I had one more thing. Yeah, Mike, and that's the voice. Oh, thank you, Chris, yes. Christopher Maloney. Maloney right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I just saw him. I just worked with him last year. Oh wow! Yeah, on Helpsters, and I brought up Spike and dinosaurs because it was one of his first things that he had done. You know, it wasn't famous at that point. Right. And I remember he had he was just standing. He came to the set and was just standing there watching what was going on. He had a white shirt on. He was probably the only person with a white shirt on in the whole studio. So I'm like, what's that guy doing? And wow. he told me I do the voice of Spike, and I'm like, "Oh, great! Nice to meet you." And he was so nice to me, and he was still he was nice again last year. Just a super nice guy. What a good actor! Um, oh, amazing! Yeah, 
Yeah. And uh, he had just done a job with Valerie Bertinelli at the time. And okay. so I had to ask him about Eddie Van Halen, you know. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he said, oh, yeah, he was cool. He came to the set. It was really awesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, a lot of those folks, like Jason Willinger, right? Willing Is it Willinger or Willinger who did Robbie's voice? He was brand new, you know? Uh, but yeah, Christopher Maloney. How cool. Yeah. And all those voices. All the, we haven't even talked about all that. Maybe we'll talk about it during the Unisaurus thing, but so many actors that did all the different character voices. And it Roy, Roy's voice. Who was that? Yeah, we did uh, Sam McMurray. We talked about him earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was phenomenal. Sam. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, thank you for bringing that up. That's, I appreciate that. Sure. I'm all caught up in the dancing now. That's all I <laughs> John dance more. I got the yeah. can't catch a fish dancing hour coming up soon. So <laughs> my own Zoom. <laughs> I would definitely tune into that. I swear, I swear, all these I years I've known you, I never knew you did that professionally. I just I always thought you just did a great parody of that kind of dance. <laughs> Well, I'm of course being silly, but yeah, I I um I was in show choir in high school. And so and during high school, this Indianapolis Union Station Festival Marketplace opened up in Indianapolis. I'm like, so I took everything, my banjo, my puppets, and I auditioned to sing and dance, and they hired me to do all of it. So I would I would dance upstairs every hour. We would do like Can't Stop Dancing or the Beatles medley or the country medley, and we would sing. Uh, it was a track, but we also had solos, and we would sing along. And then it was full-on dancing. I mean, I, there were like 700 people that auditioned, and I got it. Me oh my and my God. best friend, Ed, both got in, and we were still seniors in high school. <laughs> did you do Up Up With People? No. no oh, why I, did I think that? I, for some reason, I thought you did that too. But you were you worked in the parks too, right? As a dancer, I did. I was in the costume characters, and yeah, the Here Come the Muppet Show. Oh, right, that's right. So, so yeah. I think maybe the reason you don't know you didn't know I was a dancer is because I didn't want to get in those dinosaur suits. <laughs> 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 well, that guy he does costumes, he dances, put him in one of those suits. So I was like, No, <laughs> thank you. Well, you got you, you did an elephant, I oh, did. Yeah. Important me, right. getting in suits for doing uh uh getting Kevin's dry cleaning. That's right. <laughs> 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 that was okay. I, I'll trade that. I've never saw anybody get their jeans ironed. I know. <laughs> I'd never seen that until then. <laughs> that and became a thing. Know. That I think that's a French thing, actually. Is it? I did it. I did a, a puppet a commercial with a, a character named Flat Eric oh, yeah. for, for Levi's jeans. And they were the same thing. They had the crease. That was like the thing, a crease in the jeans in the front. Right. Lisa, do you iron your jeans? No, but when I first met my husband, his jeans were all ironed. He liked wow. his jeans ironed? I, I don't think he ever washed his clothes and he just sent them out to get done and they'd come back that way. That's what Kevin. When he met it, mm -hmm. met me, and moved in with me, and I washed them in the washing machine. He first thing he said to me is, "How'd you get the crease out?" <laughs> <laughs> this is the amazing Mark Rocco. People don't know yeah. a great director. Uh, he gave he gave Billy his first on screen appearance. Well, yeah, yeah. I'd say Lisa got me my first. On oh, okay, yeah, okay, good for yeah. you. It was yeah. Billy. If you watch the movie Murder in the First with. Um, Kevin Bacon, um, Gary Kevin Bacon, and, and Bill. You'll see <laughs> Bill, he, Billy. I won't tell you the part, but it's in the old newsreel footage. I'll give you the line. It's it was really, I mean, famous, legendary. It was something like this. I think it's perfect. <laughs> that was my line. That's Thank good. you. That's Thank good. you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, um, we we're going with you to see the premiere of uh, Where the Day Takes You. Yeah. What a great movie. And you know who lives behind me? Stephen Tobolowsky. He does? Yeah. Oh, and I, what a great guy. I remember seeing him in that movie and thinking, oh, my God, this guy is frightening. He was unbelievable. He was so good. Yeah. He's the sweetest guy in real life. Yeah. 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 But, yes, Mark, what great movies he made. What a lovely guy. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for making me flashback with that with the jeans. 
Oh, that's so funny. I seriously, I had never seen anybody with iron jeans before. And I, I hadn't either until then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, thank you for doing this with us. We really thank appreciate you. it. And thank uh, you. well, um, maybe John could like dance out. Maybe we could all just yeah, dance. Dance us out. Team, will you take us <laughs> out with your dance? His dance. Dun 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 d